Hey, this is Didi from Overkill. Uh, this is Gear Recording Studios, where Overkill uh, is doing our where Overkill is doing our latest record. We've been using this. This has been our happy home since that uh, 2004. This is uh, we like to call it Didi's place, but it's um, it's kind of cool because it's comfortable for us to do. It has everything we need: the outboard gear, but the, also the old school approach of uh, the board and isolation rooms in the back. So it. So it all works out really well. And Didi's, over this last eight year period, has learned to use some of this stuff. As, <laughs> I'm going to give him a plug. <laughs> Here's how the record went down, right like this. Just insane guitar, rhythm tracks, solo tracks. And inside this room, plugged into my evidence audio cable, of course. There it is, the Ford amplifier. The process on this one, maybe compared to the last one, is not a whole lot different. Uh, Ironbound, we had good success with. We liked a lot of the sounds. Um, we're comfortable here and now with the microphones that we use and the way we approach everything. It's a Fort and amplifier. Uh, no other amp like it. Whole record was tracked with it. Sounds great. It's uh, an unbelievable amp. It's one of a kind. Uh, Mike did for me. And really, it's the whole record is here. Here's the here's the chain, baby. This cable into this guitar, dropped into that amp, and there's a noise suppressor pedal on top. That's it. There's no nothing in between. Guitar, chord, amplifier. Uh, we have a different guy mixing this record. Uh, we have Greg Reilly who's going to mix uh, the record. He did uh, a bunch of Fear Factory records, which we liked sonically a lot. Uh, he's in Vancouver, and he seems he seems real good. Definitely on board for the type of sounds that we like. We. We tend to be, you know, we're a thrash band, so we tend to like sounds that are um, not too soft, uh, but not too hard, you know, for people out there. It's, we don't uh, really want to be totally on a need console, we're more of an SSL kind of band, uh, so it's more of that kind of sound, and this guy Greg definitely seems to get that. But when it comes to Dave, I mean, Dave is a, uh, I like to listen, he's superior in his, you know, the technique and he's very unique in his technique and uh, I like to really kind of dig into what he's doing you know to really find out what's going on so it makes it easier makes it everything sound a little bit tighter. This is the house studio kit it's like a special Maytag it's actually Dee's kit but, uh, that's what we track some of the, uh, the tracks with but I usually play a sonar kit. Uh, all C means cymbals yep axis pedals uh, some secret snare drums, a couple of big snare drums we use from the track. <laughs> Older models, uh, a lot of drumsticks we broke. Up there in the corner of the studio. Hand up there and take a look. See that? Small little thing? That, that is the top shelf. And that is when Dave has really good performances. <laughs> We just take a look up at the top shelf. So if he's playing and he thinks he's doing pretty well, we we'll kind of look up there and say, "Yep, that's top shelf." Okay, top shelf. Well, 14, 16 inch toms. Who's your like a six and a half by 14 snare? As always, I record my Dean guitars. I just uh, started using uh, dime bag amplifiers made by Dean as well, and uh, they fucking they, they sound brutal, really good, very full, a lot of headroom, um, not too over the top, and just enough fucking balls to choke your throat. <laughs>